this section, we use pak sao or slapping hand to clear the front hand barrier. And our opponent uses a crossing movement to obstruct or block with a rear hand barrier. Grab. This crossing movement takes the punching hand across the center of our bodies. We dissolve the right hand and deliver a straight left punch, trapping our opponent's arms crossed together. Dissolving the left punch and lopsawing are grabbing the top arm of our opponent, maintaining the trap to deliver another right punch. Cross grab is still cross energy, but the rear hand grabs instead of blocks, which controls our right punch or lead hand. We go with the force, bringing the grabbing hand down and trapping our opponent's right arm. The left hand punches over our own arm and both of theirs to control our left punch. The opponent turns loose of our right hand and checks the arm. Going with the force, we let it go back across center and hit with a right back fist. All the basic trapping starts from here. At the beginning, your partner answers should be slow but firm. The contact to the arms tells you where you are and where you're going to go for the next move. This playing is conducive to learning, and repetition is to your benefit in all the trapping. In this section, we see where the trapping comes from, chi sao. The same moves we just completed can be seen in this two-handed play. When the hits come this easy in chi sao, your opponent is making one mistake after another. When doing the two-handed exercise, you can't get too tight or too wide. When your opponent counters your straight right punch with left tan sao or inside block, your right jut sao or jerking hand pulls your opponent's left hand down as your left hand cuts into your opponent's right arm, trapping and hitting, making your opponent's arms cross. So you can trap with your left and hit with your right. The key is to be able to control or trap both of your opponent's arms with one hand or one arm and hit with the other. When trapping at this level of sensitivity, your partner is a pace setter. At the beginning of energy training of any kind, you and your partners have to complement each other. Only after the movements are fully learned does your partner answer your attack randomly. 
power is not what we are looking for here. Speed is not what we are looking for here. Sensitivity is the important factor here. This answer to Poxal punch is when I try to hit with the right hand, my opponent parries a punch with the left or rear hand, not letting the parry cross the center of our bodies. In the traditional way, I slap or Poxal the opponent's left hand so that my right punch can continue to the target. In the JKD way, I put the extra punch in with the left hand before I slap or Poxal my opponent's left hand letting the right punch continue to the target. I thought it was necessary here to show the difference between the traditional way and the JKD way. This difference is throughout the trapping. This was one of the insights that Bruce gave to me. There is a hit before and after every trap. Always think of hitting. Trapping is just a byproduct of hitting. If the trap is there, use it. If it is not, just keep on hitting. In other words, when in doubt, hit. Again, in the traditional way, it's trap and hit. In the JKD way, it's hit, trap, and hit. When putting in the extra hits, a half beat in your timing will make it smoother. The best way to feel a difference is through continuous practice. There can never be enough. In review, the answers, the block, the grab, and the parry are some of the ways your opponent will react to the punch. Awareness, fitting in, and sensitivity are your answers. <laughs>